What's up, Basil Bates? It's your girl Joy back with another finger. Ciao. I can't believe I did it. Oh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Just check in whenever you can. It's okay. Watch a little bit now, a little bit later. Just like now, latest. That's what you do, okay? Just like it now, later. Eat some now, save some for later. That's what you got to do with my videos because y'all know I have the talking problem, but that's okay. <laughs> I know I'm real sparkly, right, guys? Well, I am filling up my gas tank. I couldn't vlog this morning. I was just... Ugh. I stayed up late. I had to redo the front row of my braids. They were terrible. Two of them fell out. I used a different type of silky hair. And I guess I had a little slippage on my little front part. I call it my baby. I had to snatch that baby hair, okay? <laughs> well, I'm filling up. I'm on my way to Austin to read um, a book in my friend's class so i'm pretty excited i was like i hope you know i'm sparkly okay i like to sparkle and the kids like to sparkle i don't know what it is about the sparkle but the kids like to sparkle i think if i was a student i would want to see sparkle too it's hot for y'all to see my eyes so i would want to see somebody sparkle too okay so i'm gonna i don't want to eat it but i need to get something in my system so i have about a two hour it's a three hour drive I thought it was two hours and 37 minutes. I got me some good audio books and I don't mind. So I'll be listening to those on my drive there. I'm pretty excited. You know, this is not anything that I normally do. So this is really outside of my comfort zone. I feel a little guilty. I do feel a little guilty, but it's, it is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> What's up Basil Babes? I just made it to the school. This is a very remote area. I was like, I gotta go to the bathroom, but honey, I was not getting out of the car, okay? I know when I need to stay inside the car and just make it to a safe zone. <laughs> but I have to go to the bathroom so bad. So I'm gonna go in here, read my little story, and um, I can't check into the hotel until three o'clock. So I read my little story and then, woof, child ain't nothing out here. What's it? Woof. <laughs> child. Woof. Let, let me get my life. Let me get my life, y'all. Let me, let me get my stuff go up in this school. All right. <laughs> but I'm so excited to be able to read to the kids. I just love the littles. I don't know. I'm still thinking about whether or not I want to, um, Change my certification to read to the, to the young kids. So we'll see. We'll see. Child, I just got to the school. I look and stand out. Okay. I don't look like I belong at all. This is the country, country. Well, honestly, I walked in and it was like, yes, you here to see who? What? We to see her? <laughs> oh no, we don't have clearance. Who you coming up, sir? We don't have you on a list. I was like, I was profiled. I was profiled. Yes, I was, because I don't look like anybody else. They had to call the principal up to the fresh. She was like, yeah, she's fine. I already approved her. Mm -hmm. I was like, thanks, school. <laughs> All right, let me get to this classroom. <laughs> I just finished reading to the kids, just made it back to my car after all the drama, okay? After all the drama, it was awesome. So I went to observe a kindergarten class and they are so cute. Oh my gosh, I love them. I don't know if I would have the patience for them. And I'm, you know, still kind of a little silly myself. I even think third grade maybe. I don't know. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. <laughs> so I read this book. My friend bought me this book. Um, I read this book for years. I even did a video of me reading. And I have the sniffles. So. And I have a video of me um, where I read this book. So you can look that up. If I remember, I'll put a link to the reading of this book. Of course, it's dramatic. 
and I just love it. It's my favorite book. I could I could read this every day. And so the kids, they were just they they fell in love with me instantly. So after I read the book and the teacher gave her expectations and like level zero, no talking, you stay on the little carpet on your square. Don't get up, don't ask for the bathroom, you know. So they were they was like, Can you read it again? Can you read it again? And they were like yelling and screaming with certain but like they like when I said and he danced again in underpants. They thought that was the funniest thing in the world. It doesn't take much to, you know, to satisfy or appease a kindergartner, okay? They just, they, they're just so awesome. And I watched them do their little rotations for their little stations. It gave me some ideas, even for kindergarten. I got some ideas that I can um, apply to my own classroom. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, they were so cute. And so at the end, they were, you know, getting their snacks and stuff. And I became the show and tell. Oh, can I touch your jacket? Oh, can I touch your hair? Oh, can I touch your hat? And I know what the kids are attracted to. So I purposely wore sparkly. I don't, even my students love when I wear my sparkle stuff. I don't, it, they're just fascinated by it. So it was just awesome. I was their show and tell. They were t touching my, touching my watch. Yes, I did get a little watch. <laughs> so would touch my watch touching my hat touching here wanting to rub it up and down I'm like okay how about you do that on the back not the front of my jacket okay let's 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 not rotate and I would say the majority of the this is a title one school the majority of the kids um I would say they have a huge population of Hispanic um children <laughs> one little girl so they were doing stations and you they build stuff with blocks and stuff like that so one little girl I was like oh what are you building what are you building? What are you building? She was like, I'm building a wall. I was like, you building what? She's like, I'm building a wall. I was like, oh, okay, all right. Yep, that's a colorful wall because it was different colors and stuff. So I had to walk on over to the next station. And I had some who kept touching me or you know tugging on my shirt or something like that. They said, Oh, your hair is long. I was like, it sure is long. <laughs> And everybody was missing teeth. Oh, they were just so cute. I could go on and on and on about those little babies. They were so adorable. And I, it was the highlight of my day. And it was worth every mile that I drove to be here. Despite the profiling I received at the front desk. Okay. But the principal was mad. She was like, yeah, she's fine. What? <laughs> what? All right. So now I need to figure out where I'm going I can't get into my hotel until three. I don't know where my hotel is, but I wanted to go. Oh, I was supposed to go do um a mukbang, but I'm not very hungry right now. So let me go find my hotel. I need to find a nail place. I may have to drive to another county because ain't nothing up out here. Who lives out here? Anyway, don't get me started. Let me find out where my hotel is. That's what I need to do. Because it may be in hmm, Timbuktu somewhere. I'm not sure if my room is ready. But I'm going to go and check. Because I got a lot of running around to do. Um, before I get settled in. <laughs> So I am all checked in the shop. Let me get to the room. I'm looking for the um elevator right now. So they did have a room available. I guess I had chosen a handicap room. <laughs> I don't know. So okay, get in the elevator. I'm on the, I'm on the third floor. So they love my jacket. And let me tell you, they're not playing with the coronavirus. They canceled an event here, a big conference canceled. You have to sign paperwork to say you don't have no cough, you don't have no fever, you haven't been to any of those countries. You have to initial and sign all that. So if something goes down, they know who they had. Um, 
up in this hotel. They're not playing. I do have a little sniffle, but 303, where am I going? check for bed bugs <laughs> just a habit so now that I think what happened with the key when you have your hotel key next to your cell phone sometimes it'll deactivate the key so when I go back down what's this what's up in here oh okay so this is cute looks clean so I'm gonna run the streets before I get comfy there's a few things I want to do I want to go to in and out burger I'm not super, super hungry right now, so I need to run to Walmart um, to get a few things. Uh, Walmart, then I'm gonna do a mukbang in and out. <laughs> so I'm gonna go there and mukbang that. So I'm super excited. It's about eight miles away from the hotel, and I wanna do it all, honestly, before it gets dark, because my sight at night is terrible. So the time now is 3.20. Ooh, I can look at my watch, y'all. <laughs> it's been years, it's been years. So um, I'm gonna go to Walmart, pick up some stuff, and then go eat. So I should be a little hungry at the time. I'm not really hungry, but I'm just gonna eat anyway because, you know, that's, that's what I do. I like to eat, boo. I like to eat, boo. So I'm excited. I may hook up with my friend later, and um, then I have to see. This what happened. All right, sis. Let me tell you what happened. Let me have a seat, sis, before I run out. Right? Oh, my forehead big. What was supposed to happen, I was supposed to be out here Friday and Saturday. But, and the drive wasn't that bad. It was like, it was a three-hour trip. It wasn't that, it really wasn't that bad. And did it. One trip, didn't have to pull over to go to the bathroom. I did monitor my liquid intake, and I was glad I made it, but it was like that three hours I had to, I was boop, 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 because <laughs> you know my bladder, honey. And so, I was supposed to be out here Friday and Saturday hanging out. One of my friends that I've known since I've been in Texas, she was like, oh, well, I'm having a birthday party um, Friday. I was like, oh, I can't make it because I'm going to be in Austin. Okay, I can't make it. She was like, so you're not going to make it to my big 50th birthday party. And I was like, well, you know, you know, the zero, I call it the zero birthdays, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. I call them the zero birthdays. I was like, that is kind of like a big deal. And I was like, you're not going to miss me anyway. She was like, are you serious? She says, I do consider you a very good friend. She says, my friend, my friend group is, you know, actually getting smaller and smaller. You know, I do love you. I do consider you one of my closest friends. I was like, oh, 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 okay, I'll be there. I wouldn't miss it for the world. I wouldn't miss it. I'll be there. <laughs> so, with that said, I just switch things around it, it will be more driving for me but three hours is really not that it wasn't that bad I enjoyed my audio book I just started a new book it's a little depressing now I was talking about someone being abused I was like okay I wanted something more upbeat so anyway so what I did I just put this trip to Thursday because I said I would be out here for two days I said I was gonna do my two days we just got a rearrange some things okay so I switched 
my trip to come out on a Thursday, then I'll go back home Friday. And there was another party. I was like, well, I'll try to do two parties on Friday. <laughs> And then I'll come back out here to Austin on Saturday. Yeah, a lot of driving, but I really don't mind. <laughs> and I want to keep my word to everybody. So that's how it is this weekend. So I got, so I had to change my hotel instead of two straight back-to-back -back days. I had to break them up. And I, I, I don't want to miss her party. I really don't want to miss her birthday party. And it's not like it's going to be fun. I'll be in my feelings if I miss all that fun, honey. They doing some good stuff. And hopefully this will be, you know, a good overall weekend. I think it's going to be a good weekend. I don't know. I, got, I can't believe I'm just out of town. I'm, I, I feel a little guilty here. I do feel a little guilty. It, it is what it is. But you know what? It is what it is. Okay. Do they got that bed wrapped in plastic? So... You know, the room is nice and cozy, so I'm looking forward to, you know, getting back here and, you know, hanging out and relax. Oh, I feel bad I don't have the girls. Sorry, not sorry. I think that's what my jacket says, actually. Is that what my, can you see my jacket? Can you see the back? I don't know what you guys can see. Okay. And so the guys at the front desk, they was like, oh, where you get that jacket from? <laughs> and I got this jacket, and I knew the kids would love it. I love sparkly. Well, I got this jacket from Forever 21 in the men's section. And this is actually a small. And I usually don't get smalls, but this jacket is a small. And if I want to, you know, wear it out, you know, I, I can wear, I can wear, you know, off the shoulder like that. You know how they do. But I didn't want to wear it like that in a classroom. So you wear it like that, off the shoulder. How you doing? All right guys, I will check in with you later. What's up Vaz Babes? It's early. I had a good night's sleep. I could sleep a little longer. I may come back and lay down before I hit the road. Don't worry about the face, okay? Don't worry about that. But I, I'm not missing free breakfast, so I just wanna go downstairs and see what they have. I think I have my, my uh, car key. Let's go see what they have for breakfast, y'all. Mm -hmm. Are they skipping no meals?